I'm Pastor Tice at St. John. What does it mean to take up our cross and follow Jesus? Perhaps the Old Testament passage from the book of Micah says it as simply as possible. He has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your God. Love to hear it, easy to say, hard to live out. In the Gospel lesson for this coming Sunday, August 30th, Jesus tells his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And in the Epistle lesson, St. Paul fleshes out a bit what justice, kindness, and humility look like. And here's a partial list. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Bless those who persecute you. Be constant in prayer. Associate with the lowly. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to what is honorable in the sight of all. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Again, easy to speak, hard to live out. When we're honest with ourselves, we see our failings and our faults. We see how we truly need the forgiveness won for us by Jesus who did it all perfectly for us. He shows us what it is to do justice, to love kindness, and most of all, to walk humbly with our God. Lord, forgive our failings. And as one who follows Jesus, send your Holy Spirit to help us walk more closely with you. God bless your walk this week because of Jesus. Amen.